towed it. And taken. Daniel Bell Drummond did his very best to put Jordan Cox off and break his own leg. He doesn't look too happy about it. I think he'll cheer up a bit when he realises that the man's on his way back. Four wickets down now. Well, this is a huge wicket. He was looking to try and accelerate the score, but got the toe end of the bat. Looking for the middle. They were both in hunt. No communication. The slide had come in. Absolute wipeout. Oh, they're going to have to ask hang a question. On, hang on. Was Bell Drummond in contact with Cox when Cox caught the ball, when Bell Drummond was touching the boundary rope? I've never seen this before. That must be what they're checking. So Cox takes the catch cleanly, but he is in contact with Bell Drummond. Bell Drummond is in contact with the rope. Cox is in contact with the ball. Now you think you've seen everything. Well, there's no doubt he's touching the rope and Cox has the ball in his hand. I've not seen this happen, especially in a crunch moment like this. Well, I mean, he's without any question He's taken the catch, he's in control of the ball there, and without any question, he's in contact with Bell Drummond, who's in contact with the boundary cushion. We're just a third umpire, Neil Bainton. We'll be in uh, conversation with the uh, fourth umpire, and... Graham Lloyd and match referee about what the law says about this. I, I recognise that look on the face of Mike Burns, that is, I've got no idea. Never seen it, never come across it. It's six. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You're in the game for most of your life and you think you've seen everything. That is the first time I've ever seen that. Joe Cox is fuming, as you can imagine, and so is Bell Drummond. This is not something that anyone would have seen before. In summary, there was contact with the rope whilst holding the ball, even though it was via Daniel Bell Drummond, and that's why the catch was made.